Okay, my name is Tracy Hedrick, and I'm here camping this weekend with my sister to uh, give you a tour of my van. Uh, my older son is the one who uh, done the build for me, and it was kind of a family project. My boyfriend done the maintenance, and the kids done the interior, and sent me on my way. It's a, a Dodge Ram van. It's a 1999, and we call it Nana's Gypsy Van. <laughs> and the refrigerator and then I got the power station and then we got a little bread box turned on its side and that's uh, for storage and then he made little tables Ooh. go up and down and when you close when the door is shut and the table's up it makes a nightstand uh, oh I see it would for yep. sure oh that's great and then on this side right here is where I keep some of my stuff too I love that he was really creative. He done a really good oh, job. Say. Clothes and sleeping bags and our covers and everything we keep in our pillowcases. Well, back here's where we keep some of our personal items. And then we just keep it covered up. We got our little hats and lights on each side of the bed. Mm -hmm. Little souvenirs, Las Vegas. And then my little daughter made this. So it's just kind of like little bits and pieces of home brought with us. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, not all, not all those who wander are lost. That's right. And there's Winnie. That's where she rides. She's just oh, learning. Oh, baby. She, how old is she? Uh, she's two. She's two years old mm -hmm. and she's just learning to be a nomad. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the little privacy curtains go across all the way. And then we have the blinds that pull down. Nice. If the clothes is not here, this can be a little bench seat and a table to work on. And this also lifts up. Okay. So that you can get to, that's how you get to the refrigerator and slide uh, it out. You can lift that up instead of sliding it out. Is that right? Yep, or slide it out. And they're a little bit more storage. The refrigerator goes to about here. So I have more storage in the back. That's so we can wash our hands and get the dogs to a little extra water. Yeah. Where did you get that? Was that that was like uh, a cutting board that was already beautiful like that? Uh, I ordered it from Amazon and uh -huh. made the own little saying on it. I have a thing for dandelions. Wishes instead of weeds is the way I see it. And that folds up too. You got that same kind of nice little hinge underneath there that just unlocks and it just flip, flips right down. And another table like that. When we're traveling and stuff, we'll put the cooler on top of this. Goodness, look at that. There'll be uh, a stand under it. Like I said, he's is work in progress. Yep. Let me push it back in. Nice rollers. Uh, we uh, put the cooler up here and like the little table. And I got the little potty. So everything just kind of stores in this area. And I leave the bed folded down mm -hmm. while I'm traveling. And then uh, if I have the grandkids with me, we can take the bed and fold it back, and it folds up like a futon. And then, like I said, we got our screens. Magnets holding on your screen. A lot of people are doing that. And that way you can open the window and not have to worry about Florida mosquitoes. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad you're here, you and your sister, and you got such beautiful little dogs. Oh, yeah. We got an awful lot of little dogs here, and the noisiest one, of course, is my little Susie there. She's kind of a little nut job. She you, don't she? She does. She's very dependent. <laughs> Thank you so much for the van tour. I'm from South Carolina, um, and this is my minivan, Mini. Been camping now for almost four years, off and on. Mm -hmm. um, not full-time, I'm a part-timer. Instant porch without having to put a permanent ironing on your vehicle. I use these um, reflective tarps so it can um, reflect the sun away and also keep your vehicle cool during the summertime. You can tighten the guideline as tight as you want your tarp to be. Usually I put a guideline in the middle so that you can have ventilation that goes up under it when you have your windows cracked and you won't have to worry about the rain coming in as well. This is 11 by nine. This is 11 by nine tarp. Okay. Magnetic screens and I cut them to the size of my door. It, there's two different sizes. You can get the size to fit a garage, but this is that size to fit a regular door in a home. I have it attached with Velcro. Velcro. I put Velcro across the top and Velcro down the bottom. 
2014 Dodge Caravan, Green Caravan. I am 5'2", so I'm able to sleep crossways of my van. Nice. I actually raised my bed up high enough so that the, um, with the cup holders and your armrest is on your, it gives me the extra space. Right. So I'm able to actually, actually into the window. That's right. Okay, this is actually, um, this has plenty of storage on it. I have a uh, plywood. It's plywood. Yes. This is the one by ones, and it actually supports the plywood, so the plywood that won't sag. walk. This is my pot. Oh, really? Yeah, it's up under. I covered it up so it can look pretty. But this is my porta potty. Okay. And for my urinal, I just use a nuns cap from like the hospital caps. You can order those off Amazon. Wow. Um, use the pine pellets, you know, mm -hmm. for number two, and I take use that and pour it into a coffee can mm -hmm. so it won't fill up. <laughs> no, you got a black tank. <laughs> this is my cabinet, um, three drawer, three drawer cabinet. Mm -hmm. I this one here came loose, so I'll show you this one. These are just uh, child safety scraps that I uh, found in Walmart where you can just pull it out mm -hmm. and it unlock, and it keeps the drawers from sliding. Out. This is a cooler that wraps into, I put the rest of my reflectors that I use for to make my windows. Mm -hmm. And I made a cooler, I call it a cooler skirt. And it holds the ice up to three to four days. My extra blankets, I put them on top of that so it can get extra insulation. I uh, actually got, also got from Walmart, it's a bug light. And with this light, it um, has three different settings. And it also has a... So you keep a, the bugs. Is that a, a zapper? Does it zap yes, them? Yes, it's a zapper. So it actually kills them. Kills the bugs. Ah, yes. Nice. You can have that on by itself and turn the light all the way off and it'll still be on. And nothing in here is permanent. Um, even the flooring. Um, the flooring is just a regular um, linoleum flooring that I purchased at Alice. Oh. And I just it comes in a five by seven roll and you just unroll it out and just lay it in there. Just lay it in. And my screen back here is only, um, it's just a um, regular um, sheer curtain. And yes. it's also, I have Velcro stuff around the edges. So when I'm home and want to use my van for anything else, I can remove everything out of here mm -hmm. and just take it down. The part of the Velcro strips stay here and part of it stay there. So all I have to do is just when I'm getting ready to go again, Pull just put it back in. I have my bins here for clothes. This is my food. This is my kitchen area. This is my snack area. A little bit of particle board that I had at home, or just scrap boards and two by fours. I made a table so everything can rise up and I carry a full size spare towel with me everywhere I go. Two tarps. I have a utility box that has anywhere from wires, clips, tape, anything, matches, whatever you know, I need in there. And this is a garage box to carry tools. Um, this is the battery I spoke of. It actually, um, it works real nice. I use that with my solar panel. Along with, um, I bought a 15 foot cord so I can keep my solar panel wherever I want it to be without moving my battery at all. It sits in that same spot That's full good. time. And this is a 30 amp charge controller. I wired everything. You did that yourself? Yes, Whoa, did all wow. of it myself. You have uh, these two on the outside goes directly to the solar panel. These two here goes to um, my clips so that I can put my clips to the battery mm -hmm. and actually hook this to the solar panel and it charges my um, battery, keep my battery charged at all times. A simple um, inverter mm -hmm. that I bought from Walmart also. It's 750 watts. So any um, device you have that's less than 750, you can run it off this. It has two of the um, 110 outlets uh -huh. and the two USB outlets. All, right. All you have to do is turn it on and it also monitors how much power you have left in your battery. Genius. Yes, genius. You <laughs> are. You're a genius. Flip it to your battery and use it just like you do a home um, mm -hmm. outlet. This is the RV water hose. Mm -hmm. I keep it with me at all times. This is a marine um, water filter. It filters out bacteria, different type of bacteria, chlorine, disorders, and all out of your water. So I put this in between my lines 
so I can have drinking water. And it's nice. kind of cheaper than buying a burger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for the van tour. Thank you. And thank you for having me here. <laughs> and how would you think of this? Have you been to other meetups this before? This is my first meetup I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. I've been, um, like I said, out back and forth on the road, um, mostly in state of South Carolina mm -hmm. for about four years now. Yeah. And this is my first time outside of um, South Carolina. I want to venture out enough so I can get the feel of it to travel more. This is my intention to try to travel more to different states. Yeah. And I have had a blast at this meetup because I met so many good people and Aren't learned they? so many new things. Yeah, that's what these meetups are so good for. <laughs> yes, and this is like we just all fellowship together and it was, it was very nice. Yeah. Well, thanks again for your tour of your you. lovely, very well organized minivan.